So it is coming guys, Samsung has made it official that they will be launching the Galaxy Note 9 on the 9th of August at a Samsung Unpacked event in Brooklyn, New York. The phone is supposed to sport a 6.38 inch display that is marginally bigger than the previous year's Note 8 which had a 6.32 inch display. The fingerprint sensor as supported by the previous rumors has moved under the dual camera setup. What's worth noting here is that it is considerably heavier than the Note 8 and that is mostly due to the battery being a higher capacity one. Coming on to the camera, so Samsung has unveiled its new ISOCELL Plus camera uh, which was shown off at MWC Shanghai this week and most probably this is going to be the one used in Note 9. It promises sharper and more accurate photos even in low lighting conditions. The technology also enables image sensors to equip 0.8 micrometer and smaller size pixels without any loss in performance. So camera resolution over 20 megapixel can be achieved easily. Talking about the stylus, the most important reason why anyone buys the Note lineup of devices, the Galaxy Note 9 will ship with a new version of Samsung's S Pen stylus that comes with a feature that's worth the wait according to Ice Universe. According to latest rumors, this year's upgraded S Pen will feature Bluetooth, allowing the stylus to remotely lock and unlock the device, along with various work modes that Samsung might introduce to appeal to business users. On the storage front, the phone is supposed to come with 664, 8, 256 and 8, 512GB RAM and ROM configurations, with the 512GB one being uh, an exclusive to South Korea and China. As already said that the phone is heftier and that is due to the battery being a higher capacity one at 4000 mAh. Yes, you heard me right. So Samsung is finally going ahead and launching a phone with a 4000 mAh battery and which is going to be the highest capacity battery that Samsung has ever included in their flagship devices. The battery endurance is supposedly 1 to 2 days of normal usage and 23 to 25 hours of video playback at maximum brightness. So talking about the SoC, Samsung um, might actually go with the Snapdragon 845 for the US and South Korea market while a new Exynos chipset for the global market as the handset which was available for hands-on was exceptionally fast to operate. That is all the rumors and everything we know about the Galaxy Note 9. With all this information already out, I doubt there is anything left for Samsung to announce at the event. Unless they decide to surprise everyone, which would be a good thing. Also, please tell us what do you think about the Galaxy Note 9 and would you be interested in buying one? Or would rather wait for the anniversary edition Galaxy S10? Until then, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Bye bye.